Let's get to it. Starting things off this week, let's go with the EUPU feature team. And as part of their work on loot generation, the EUPU FT has been working on a variety of locked crates for players to discover throughout the persistent universe, like some that would require use of a cutting tool to open, or in this case, combination lock you'll have to secure the solution for elsewhere in your travels. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Amanda, uh, remind me to change the combination on my luggage. The same team is all right. Hold on, 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 hold on. So, so this, this gives this, this clues me in on something. I uh, wish they covered a bit more of the vulture. This ISC, I'm dying for that ship. <laughs> I think when, when salvage, when they're ready to drop salvage, they'll, they'll drop that in. But uh, just this little snippet right here, I, I kind of want to discuss it, right? It's uh. Remember a few um, a stream or two ago, I mentioned that in order for 315 to be a successful patch going forward with with the looting, with the uh, medical gameplay, they need to add value to things, right? They need to make sure that there are some things that you find out in in the in the star system or in the universe where you can't purchase in game. So the fact that they're adding padlocks or, you know, locked um, loot boxes, in addition to just regular loot boxes you can open, means that they are intending to have rare items as well. So not just any item you can find anywhere or just common items, but I'm from, from, I'm getting the sense that there are going to be various levels of rarity of items. That's what this tells me right here. So that means they are thinking to do that exactly that and which that means it's going to be perfect. You know, there's going to be reasons to go out and loot. There's going to be reasons to engage players for their loot. There's going to be reasons to go out and explore. It's going to be fantastic. The padlocks looks cheap. <laughs> Oh man, they also mentioned there will be some that you can use your multi-tool to the cutter attachment of the multi-tool to actually break through it, which is which is awesome. I like the fact that they're doing that. And it looks like they're gonna be there's gonna be some more interesting gameplay that they're gonna be implementing with this because it seems like they're going to have the password um elsewhere. So maybe at a completely different location you'll retrieve a password somewhere and then you'll come to where this loot box is to use that password here. You know what I mean? That's what I'm looking. That's what I'm thinking they're going to be doing. An arc like pistol could probably cut through the, the lock. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> 